The first thing you notice when you scuba dive is that all the weight and pressure of being on land is gone. And I revel in that weightlessness. Time slows, breathing slows. It really is a calming place for me. I remember like walking on the beach, going to tide pools and like poking the animals and be like, look at this cool thing, mom, I found this thing, you know? I used to love that and I remember asking my parents, how can I just be a beach bum as a job? And they're like, oh, you could be a marine biologist. <laughs> I was like, awesome, that's what I'm gonna do. And in my head, it just like stuck, like I'm gonna be a marine biologist. I have always been fascinated by coral. Coral really is the building block of the whole community. It's much like the buildings are the structure of a city, and they provide apartments and restaurants and all of the little things that people need to survive in a city. Corals do the same role for coral reefs. Overall, most corals are suffering. Corals are declining in both abundance and in diversity. Climate change is here, and if we're gonna save reefs, we need to actively be managing and restoring them. We're in Curacao at one of the Secor workshops for restoration of coral reefs. We're teaching people who are already restoring reefs how to grow corals from babies. Corals are amazing. Because they're clonal, you can chop a little piece off of them and they'll just grow that back. And then that same piece you can plant somewhere and it will grow. And for the last 15 years, we've known that. And so most of the restoration efforts have been along those lines. We're basically farming corals. And that's fundamentally flawed because you're reproducing the same genes. Sexual reproduction is when the eggs and sperm get in the water and they fertilize each other. And just like much of life on the planet, sex has evolved to mix two different parents' genes so that you get something totally novel. The way to resist stress in any organism is to evolve in response to that stress. And to evolve, you need genetic diversity. And so this is a really great way of scaling. Because we can lead one workshop that reaches 10 people, they can go home and start a lab, and then they can have 10 people help them and transition that knowledge. And in a few years, you could imagine that we would have somebody who had been through this on every island in the Caribbean, and then all of a sudden we're doing sexual reproduction for the whole Caribbean. There's quite a few scientists that say corals are doomed. I don't agree with that. I don't see why you would ever give up on this amazing creature that's been around for 500 million years. And there's no reason to think that it can't adapt or acclimatize or, or sort of adjust to, to the things that are going on. It just may be that it can't do it itself. 